A very good morning and welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. It is Heritage Month in South Africa and as we are proudly South African, we are celebrating our heritage and our cultures and today we are doing so with our friends from Lesedi FM. Please welcome Os Manko Le Os Ntwaki to our studios. You know how you know you're, you're in, in somebody's good books? is when they call you Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> like they, 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 they cutify your name like that. <laughs> yeah. I call him that anyway. Do you know what his name is all the other times? What is it? I call him Katle Boo Boo. Why Boo Boo? Boo Boo, because he's like a little Boo Boo. Okay. <laughs> okay. So they're saying that I, I already look very much sort of like, so I can I can assume the sort of position this morning. Tell us a little bit about about Lisedi FM and uh, where you're based and what you do. Lisedi FM is a radio station based uh, in 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 the Free State in Bloemfontein, but we are broadcasting in seven provinces. Mm -hmm. um, so you can imagine how big we are. We are sitting at the moment at 3.7 million listeners. Oh, wow. Yes, that's how big we are. Wow. And uh, at the moment uh, on our radio station, we have a collective of about 1.1 million listeners at the moment. That is incredible. So that's what we're bringing you wow. on board. <laughs> wow. And so we, we are celebrating uh, Sesotho culture today. What, what is it about being Mosoto? Being proud of being Mosoto? Uh, I'm so proud to be a Mosoto because uh, I host the cultural program which deal with um, different types of culture, customs of the Basoto, mm -hmm. where we came from. And as you know, where, if you know where you came, you will also know where you, you are going. Yeah. We learn different uh, types of traditional games. Diketo, Sipumula. Bumarabaraba. Oh, you name them. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> wow. I, th I think we must teach Ilana something and maybe uh, the people at home as well. When we start off with the basics of Sesotho. Well, how do Medisa? To greet is who do Medisa? How, how do you do that? How do you say hello to someone? When you meet someone like you, Dumela mm Katleo, -hmm. you will also say Dumela Me, Le Guy, how are you? Meaning, how are you? I'm fine, Kiting. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. So, so you see, when you're so, greeting someone yeah. younger, like me, you would say to me just Dumela Katleo. Okay, so Dumela Katleo. And then I'd say to you, Dumela Me, because you're older than I am. Right. If you were a man, no, I'd I'm say, not older than you, but well, I. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just to Lekho. show that you respect that particular person by that time. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But okay. you also must know that uh, uh, greeting is one of our our respectful mm. occasion. So you mm. will not greet a person. You see, younger younger people, they greet and they say hi, how are you? And at that time, he's already moving away from you. Oh, wow. With us, it is very disrespectful. When you ask your aunt how are you, you need to sit down and listen because she's going to tell you how is she. Yes. You asked her, how are you? She's going to say, I'm fine but my knees are sore and your uncle is not okay. <laughs> and what, what? You need to give time to the greeting. Right. Yes. Because the greeting is very important. Okay. And, and dressing. I mean, you, you dressed me this morning in, in my, um, my beautiful uh, garb this morning. Uh, I know that the blanket wasn't originally suited, but tell me about the dress code. Uh, the dress code, uh, as you can see in Zwaki's dress, she's going to explain this, what is it. But at the moment, Basoto are using a, a, a powerful fabric called Sishwesh, which, which is this one that I'm wearing. Sishwesh. I'm sure you would have seen, yes. even in the newspapers on, mm -hmm. on the weekend, they were telling that Sishwesh has become so fashionable. Yes. Yes. Everybody is using it. So, yes, Basoto are now using Sishwesh. South African. Proudly South African. And the blankie. Do you know what is called, Katleo? But before we go into this, because this is a very, uh, it's a very, very interesting topic. We want, we're going to show you something because we, we got some footage from you at Lissedi FM. Uh, tell us a little bit about what we're about to see now on this video. Remember, it was there when, when yeah, you and okay. Palisa, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. This is Basutu Cultural Village, it's based on near Clarence uh -huh. in Eastern Free State. Fantastic. All yes. Right. As we can see, those are the houses the basuti house uh -huh. mehoro Me yes okay well, well yes. let's let's take a look and then uh, just take a bit of a deeper look into basoto culture
A visit to the Basotho cultural village in the Free State is a walk down the pathway of time. A sip of Soto beer from the chief is a token of his permission for the visit and you may try the traditional game of Marabaraba. Dengaka's bones may give a peep into the future while one of the wives introduces the traditional tetana worn by young girls. <laughs> When 16, girls are initiated in folklore by ways of riddles, fables and marvellous tales, after which they graduate to wearing a cowhide wrap-around skirt. The outfit is completed by the kuwani or tzeti, which is a hat she wears. And as you might remember, last year Ewan travelled to the Golden Gate to experience this vibrant culture firsthand. He had the honour of dressing like a chief with his wife Adrian by his side. It was an amazing experience, I can't believe it. Really stepped into the shoes of the Basutu people. Music and dance has always been an important part of Basotho life and the beat of this vibrant culture brings joy to our Heritage Month celebrations. in studio. I, Look at you, Katlef was like in it. Eh? <laughs> oh, Mama, so I saw how it's dressed in Palesa. You were in that insert. I was. I'm it. told that you're the one that's pulling all the listeners for Les City FM. That's correct. In the morning, <laughs> uh, we're doing 1.1 million in the morning. Wow. Between half past five and seven. Right. Yes. So clearly, what, what you are wearing now is a modern day shwe -shwe. It's a modern. It's a modernized shwe -shwe. It's not what our uh, mothers used to wear previously. Right. So, you know, we take the material and play around with, with, it, uh, with the different patterns. So this is a modernized situation. Hands, I'm wearing them with the heels, not with your uh, traditional sandals. Right. Aha, yes. Aha. Now, Ilana, you know how I know that this blanket that uh, Mango, uh, Mango is wearing yes. is called Siana Marena? Uh -uh. It's because back in the day, uh, there's a song that, that is sung at weddings True, about right? this, this blanket. Mm -hmm. And it goes, Hinda Dente Kele Siana Marena Dente Kele Hinda Dente Kele Siana Marena Kuba Buha Yo, hey man, I love culture, man. I love Look culture. Him. He is yeah, so I think, we, I think we're taking him with us to Bloomfontein. Please take him with. <laughs> we're taking you, him. Elena. He needs a bride. I have a show for he you. He needs a bride. Yeah, really? Yes. No, <laughs> but I feel like I'm getting married today because I was dressed even by the ladies this morning. Oh, oh that's Do we look great, huh? What do you think? You, you do got, look yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Now, now, here's the thing that we wanted to, as we are learning about the uh, Basoto culture, mm -hmm. we wanted to challenge you to okay. see how well you, you know it. So we have a few riddles. Ne? Okay. A few riddles. But it's like, the Lord. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Musa yelling out. A woman, if you, if, you, if you translate this into, into English, it translates to a woman who is tattooed even on her stomach. This describes something in Sesotho culture. What is this thing? So, this is the riddle now uh, that mm -hmm. Katleho is giving. Asi sisu. Exactly. Yes. Thank Boom. You. Thank and that is a, that's a, bas a grain <laughs> basket. What am I getting now? <laughs> <laughs> but could you explain to me why, why it's described that way? Mm. Is it because of the markings on the basket? It is because of the markings on the um, on it. On the basket. Yeah. Yes. On the basket. Okay. Yes. Well, we're going to do more riddles with you later on, but right now we have a challenge yes. for our viewers at home. Okay. Oh. Medi by Lisseri FM, and it's, it's actually for everyone out there. You should try this out. Oh, Manko said I should do this. Uh, <laughs> it's a tongue twister. It's the, the the best you've ever heard in your in in the world. Mm -hmm. Try saying this, and we're going to take calls after this on zero eight three nine one three three seven two eight. It goes like this. All right, I'm going to say that very slowly <laughs> one more time so you can hear it. It says, 
le ko ka ngi qoqo e e ka bolang ka di nkankane tse qoqolo sing qhweng ya qoqo what does that mean o sengo eh it means in qoqo there is this old person granny a granny that uh, um, tells a story, tells a story mm -hmm. about frogs ab about frogs but these frogs are from kokolosi kokolosi is a, a place in kwakwa yes and uh, this place is on on on, on the top, top of the mountain yeah. on top of the hill so kuen would be on top of the hill okay. yeah kwakwa so right. you need to say kwakwa huna le le qheku le qoqang mi qoqo e qabolang ka di nkankane tsa kokolosi ya kwakwa the only thing i can get is kwakwa it's about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even quite It's quite quite. There we go. So try and get your tongue doing that and give us a call on 0839133728. And uh, we will be taking those calls and hearing how you can handle the Basoto language after the break. It's my feel good breakfast show. Good morning. Welcome back. It's your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. I'm hanging out with Os Ntwaki from Liseri F and we are exploring South African culture because it's Heritage Month and we are loving it, exploring the Basoto nation uh, that live predominantly in the Free State and in the Southern Gauteng. Basoto. Basoto. Os Ntwaki was teaching me a Basoto song. Ereng hagang kamo sadi ki ngile le rato. Ereng gana. Hakanga mo sadi kinkile le rato. Hakanga mo sadi kinkile le rato. Le rato kila ha mo sadi kiwaka. Le rato kila ha mo sadi kiwaka. What is that song about? Eh, that was um, but if I'm, I remember well, they just saying I, I, I didn't took. Uh, you took the love, the love so that I can keep my wife. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. Okay. So we had a tongue twister challenge uh, just before the break, and it was uh, quite a tongue twister. But we have some brave souls who have called in. We've got Tapelo, who's calling us all the way from the Free State. Do you Tapelo? Do you mean that? Do you Do you Do you Do you mean Tapelo? Keep it so good, so good. Keep it so good, so good. Hey, I'm so happy. Hey, you want to tell me why you're doing a tongue twister? You're not even doing it. That's why. Irene, Irene, Morgan. Tongue twister. You tell me now. It's time for you to say that tongue twister. Like, you have time. We we actually got it on the screen. If you're tuning to SABC three now, you should see it on your screen. So you can turn down the volume. There it is. Arivale, hey. You're you're a champ right there. It sounded like drums beating in my ear. Alright, Tapelo Omosoto. What is it about being a Mosoto uh, uh, that makes you so proud of your culture and your heritage? My culture is the festive. Yes, the overall culture from Mosoto. The people who are young men, they are much harder when you grow up. They are not going to be able to do this. Hey, they are not going to be able to do this. Do you? Kita efek tu dekat tang. Ah, anda terlalu agak boleh dibaring, anda terlalu agak boleh, anda terlalu agak boleh merah, anda terlalu agak, anda ter. Kena. 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 Tapi lo kalau agak lebuh, how how kau punya sih? Kena. That that was Tapi lo all the way from the Free State telling us how what makes him proud to be a Mosoto man, talking about the food, the occasion, the music, the people. She she he mentioned the, how the development the boy development from initiation school yes. till you get married all those stuff lovely stuff lovely mm. stuff so yeah. if you if you feel like you you want to try it try your tongue out it's saying kwakwa huna le qheku le qoqa me qoqo e qabola nka di nkankane tse qoqolo si nkhweng ya kwakwa try that out <laughs> in the meantime let's just check out some youth sport i think i need to wipe my brow i'm sweating from doing that Whew.